Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where each school provides students and their families with opportunities to stay connected and have fun. After a productive week of learning and teaching, Hilton Elementary School's families and staff unwound with a rousing series of virtual bingo. In this era of online learning, Hilton's hardworking staff was challenged by Principal Annette Walls to find creative solutions for allowing school families to interact safely. Kindergarten instructional assistant Heather Godwin came up with the idea for Hilton to host a virtual bingo night to bring families together and give educators a chance to see many of the students they've missed so much. Using a bingo website, Hilton provided families with game cards they could print themselves or use digitally to accurately verify their win after each game. Hilton staff worked together monitoring the Zoom meeting and interacting with families through chat, while Heather Godwin led everyone through a series of different bingo games. 70 families tuned in for Hilton's first game night in January, ready to yell, Heron, if they had a winning card. Prizes included fun board games, gift cards donated by local restaurants and businesses, and Hilton Heron t-shirts. Kids enjoyed winning great prizes, but more importantly, entire families enjoyed a Friday night having fun together. A fun virtual event for families at Epson Sanford involving a timeless game. What is Mom Me Muffins and Tea with Virtual Jeopardy? Yes, Virtual Jeopardy is right. At both Epps and Sanford Elementary Schools, family and community engagement specialist Sonja Tatum designed similar virtual events for families and schools to come together for two evenings of learning and excitement. Moms, grandmothers, aunts, and other mother figures were invited to join the Zoom meetings with their children while snacking on muffins and tea. Each event began with special guests who offered families valuable tips and methods for navigating through these difficult times. Epps families heard from Angelique Epps, no relation to the school's namesake, from Universal Mental Health, while Courtney Fairley, a lifestyle and motherhood influencer, joined the families at Sanford. After receiving a wealth of wisdom, it was time for the families to put their brains to the test with a fun game of Virtual Jeopardy. Mothers and their children teamed up to see how many challenging questions they could answer together. No money or prizes were handed out. Instead, the focus was solely on families spending time together outside the learning environment, laughing, relaxing, and socializing with their teachers and classmates. So, if the question is how can schools help families bond during this unprecedented season, Epson Sanford have already answered in the form of a question. With some students returning to learn in person, classrooms will be modified to support the health and safety of students and teachers. Everyone is expected to maintain a six-foot physical distance and wear face masks at all times. Students are expected to bring and wear their own face masks. However, disposable masks will be provided when needed. Classrooms will be reconfigured to ensure that students will be seated at least six feet apart at desks and tables, and signs will designate appropriate distancing in hallways and common areas. Desk shields are available for use with small group instruction. In school areas where older HVAC systems exist, additional air purification systems have been installed. Hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes, and cleaning supplies will be available in all schools and classrooms. Cleaning of bathrooms, doorknobs, handrails, and other frequently touched areas will take place consistently while schools are occupied, and classroom desks will be wiped down when class changes take place. At the end of each day, a thorough sanitizing and disinfection process of all classrooms will be conducted. Teachers will maintain classroom seating charts to ensure that contact tracing can be conducted quickly and effectively in the event that a student or staff member tests positive for COVID. Newport News Public Schools will continue to work closely with families to ensure that all students have a safe learning environment to foster academic achievement. With students returning to learn, 
the dedicated Child Nutrition Services team will continue serving nutritious meals and delicious snacks with some adjustments to times and locations. Free Meals to Go will still be available at seven middle and high schools from 4 to 5 p.m. during weekdays. Meals will also be available at some early childhood centers and all elementary schools from 1 to 2 p.m. Mobile sites at neighborhood bus stops will no longer be providing meals to go. Families can drive by any of the participating school locations to receive a packaged breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. Visit the Child Nutrition Services website or contact your student's school for more information. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at NNPSTV.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching. Thank you.